I'm here at the Museum of uh, Slavery. Unfortunately, it's closed. I don't know why. They say that it's open from uh, 9 to 6, but unfortunately, yeah, uh, it's closed, as I said. I uh, wanted to come inside to show you exactly how it is, uh, because this building here, it took thousands of people uh, from uh, all the region, from the Congo, uh, because, as you know, that uh, the Kingdom of Congo was really big. That is from started from, uh, uh, from Angola, Congo Democratic, Congo Brazzaville, and Gabon. That was one of the, big, the, the biggest uh, kingdom here. And I wanted to tell you the story, but I'll uh, uh, to tell you the story about this uh, uh, this building here. As through this building here, there was, as I said, there thousands, or even I say millions of people that came through here. Um, yeah, but uh, and and then from those they went, they never returned. You know, here it says that this is the opening time, but uh, from nine to to six supposed to be like uh, uh, yeah that is but unfortunately today is not opening I don't know why today is a uh, normal day so yeah and they said this is the entrance uh, it was founded in 1977 all this information there but um, yeah unfortunately it is closed this building here Let's go inside the museum. I go in there, try to figure out about this building here. Let's go. Ele tá mal aí, tem um bom, tem um bom trabalho ele. Man, as you can see here, this is the museum. It's kind of this is where the priests were baptized. Oh, not the priests, but the people here. Here. This is that was kind of thing that had been used in order to to enslave the people. Let me show you here. This I don't know who is she. And just go here. Well, this building here had been used for baptism. All the the slave before they take them to USA or anywhere else in the Caribbean, I think. And uh, this is kind of the ship that have been used, as you can see here. This kind of ship that have been used that way here. This is only in English. So here we are. All right, let's see what is today's year. Embark. Yeah, that is 
and back Atlantic. This is where all these people have been taken away. All right. Let's see here. Where do we start from here? Uh, you know, she has. This is the the thing that have been used to baptize the people here. Put them all this stuff here. You know. As you can see here, this is the way they've been doing to the people, enslave them or baptize them first and take them away. This is what they have been doing for all these years. This is how they use a religion, it's a religion, as you can see it's in Portuguese, a religion. But I don't know why they only put it in Portuguese, but... Uh, uh, okay, here it is in English. Uh, baptism font, stand from 20, 18th century where holy water was put to baptize the slaves who passed through this uh, chapel. Or chapel. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, let's see. This is the book. Here is a little darker, so what I will do is I'll try to switch off the camera. This is the the map of Angola here. We are here right now in Luanda. And this is uh, Mpinda. We were talking about Kabinda right there. And then you have Bengal. This is another area where they took all these people. They took them away. Here. As you can see here, this is kind of instrument they used.
this is the people where touch it. The abolition of slavery. I call it more the abolition of uh, torture. Uh, what is it? Abolition of this torture.
menos solo quitas para hacer el papel también. How old is this drum? I don't know. Well, as you can see, I have to take a mask. Um, as you can see that I'm in here, this is the upper floor of the Museum of Slavery, uh, or what can I call is the Museum of Torture. This is the place where uh, thousands, if not millions of uh, people uh, from uh, Angola and other uh, African countries or uh, that time it was not the country it was just a kingdom from other kingdom they came through this uh, building uh, were baptized before they were shipped away to uh, many different countries in the world so uh, as you can see that um, yeah uh, is not a, a nice atmosphere to be here see you know and then uh, um, how do you call it uh, experience you know just to watch or to look after this uh, stuff in here what the people being used you know um, it's so a shame to know that uh, all these people um, suffered uh, uh, many years ago so yeah I'll keep on exploring here and see how it is um, um, this uh, this building here Qual é o objetivo fundamental disso tudo? É dar ao conhecer o processo de escravidão que está fora.
não estamos atrás ainda, não estamos na, na evolução, não sei 